Hello again. Um, this time I'm going to be covering the uh, four camera system that I've just installed in the van. Um, it's a reverse income security type um, system. Um, four cameras, as I say. What I've got is two for reversing. One I'm using actually to um, look at the booking ball um, so that when I reverse to the trailer I can see it. The other one doubles up as a uh, rear view mirror pretty much so it's, I can see behind me as I would if I had uh, a, re a rear view mirror. Um, then I've got two inside. Now, one is looking in from the back door um, at an angle so that I can see the side door, the sliding door. The other one is at the bulkhead looking back at the, the back door so I can see the whole length of the van. Now the monitor, which I've got in here obviously, is a four-way monitor which I've mounted up on this additional bracket that I had to get when I first got this monitor um, it came with the um, tabletop type mounting bracket um, I wanted it up high so I bought this additional bracket and I had to change and modify the um, monitor mounting supports at the back and such just to make it so that it would work um, it's a four camera monitor so I can have it split in many different ways to get different views. Right now being as this is uh, a Euro 6 van um, the wiring systems are quite um, temperamental you don't want to be chopping in and connecting things willy-nilly without knowing what you're doing and even when you do it doesn't want you to do it so it can muck up a lot of stuff. So what I've done is avoided all that and I put in a complete new circuit for it. I'll, I'll show you. Now behind this little pocket here is my fuse box. Just there, quite nicely. So what I've done in here is I've connected into the fuse box by just making a plug connection into a fuseway. Um, and that cable then goes into a floating fuse carrier and I put a fuse on that. So this is the cable now, which is feeding the supply to the entire camera system, and it's protected with that fuse. It's a little dark in there, so I'm hoping that you, the camera picks it up and you can see it. But this means that I don't have to go risking damaging any of the wiring of the van. That wire then neatly runs up this channel, all the way up to the top here. And then it'll cut over and it goes across and out, just above the monitor there. Now in order to get all the signals cables through, I had to dismantle all this lot and get in over the top of this bulkhead, which was a little bit of a tricky job, but once I'd got a feed cable through first, um, I was able to pull the rest of them through quite easily. Um, but you need everything out of sight, so you need to put the effort in to get these things done. But this does all just pop out if you've got this type of van. There's always some way in which you can pop these things out and get into them. You just be careful not to break anything. But you've got here four signal cables because there's four cameras. So there's four signal cables to get through to it. And then you've obviously got the mains cable coming from there to it. Um, the negative, there was a, a bolt threaded all up there that I was able to connect into. Right, let's go have a look at the cameras themselves. Now the first one in the back um, I've got which is looking backwards towards the back door and that's over the bulkhead just there. Now you notice these cameras are all white because the van's white so everything's starting to camouflage itself a little bit which is nice when you come to talking about security cameras. You don't want things to be too obviously visible. And the next one inside is just above the back door looking in uh, towards the side door. Um, I, which is just there um, and you'll notice all of them have got the uh, infrared night vision LEDs in there now then on this camera one other point to note is these bolts at the top here these are holding the cameras that are on the roof into place I haven't drilled them in they've actually factory made as you'll see from these ones here I have these all around the roof of the van because therefore uh, fitting a roof rack should you require one 
So I just popped the grommets out and I was able to put bolts in the same place. So when I made the brackets for the roof cameras, they just attached to them points there. Let me show you. First off, there you are, you can see them sticking out at the top there. Um, they are a little bit obvious because they're sticking out of a silhouetted area, but um, they're camouflaging up as the colours matching. Uh, let's go up and have a look and I'll show you just how they're attached. Now we made these um, aluminium brackets, aluminium um, just so that it wouldn't rot, uh, and I sprayed them white so that it would camouflage up nicely. Um, and here is the bolts that attach it to them that I showed you from underneath. Now the black stuff is um, CT1, which is uh, an underwater silicon that I put in just to make sure no water can get through. Um, there's the camera mounted on the front. Now you notice with the camera they're adjustable uh, to angle it and then you tighten it with that screw so it's not going to move anymore. And it's got the weather shield on the top which is good and solid as well. It just stops the rain running down the camera when you're um, reviewing it. The wire itself is running through the body and then it comes out here and I've had to drill a 20mm hole in the body. Um, but there's no problem there, I've put a 20mm grommet into it and should I ever remove this system I can just put a 20mm blanking grommet in there. Um, but I put it underneath the camera for extra protection um, and again I filled it with CT1. This has got plenty of holes all over it and I'm not going to seal them because it just trap water and it really doesn't matter. And the other one at the other side. Um, noting the different angles, you can see this one is looking straight down at the um, towing gear down there. Um, whereas that one is looking backwards as a rear view. Now with all the cameras in place, let's have a look at the monitor and just see what um, we're getting, what sort of views we're getting with them cameras. It's just how effective they actually are. But first let me just point out the connections of this. I've mentioned that we've got the um, signal cables coming through here. We've got the power cable coming up to here. Now everything, as I said, is powered from that one cable coming up to here, which is independently fused. Totally separate from the van. It goes to this pull cord switch. When I pull this switch, all four cameras and the monitor are powered up and will start working. When I pull it again, they're all off, dead, and no power is being consumed by it. So, turning it on, and there we are. Okay, now, that's obviously uh, on night vision in the back of the van. Um, I've got four cameras, as I will say. Outside, there's my rear view camera, which is looking at distance, as though I'm looking through a mirror. Then I've got the close-up one. Which brings me, here's my towing balls just here. Then I've got two inside ones. That's the one at the back door looking towards the uh, sliding door, the side door. And the last one which is looking from the bulkhead straight at the back door. Now I've also got a, a remote control here. Which gives me all the functions I need. It also gives me a few more because it's got your settings of the monitor on it as well. Um, but I can change the, the mode for it so that I'm looking, you see I've got the two rear view cameras there and then an internal camera, uh, a different view of the internal camera and then there I've got oh, another view of the cameras and then we've got all four and again all four, there's a more popular one that where you've got the four corners and then you can just quickly select any one you want one, two, three, four and just pick it and you've got it. Um, now, looking on the inside, if you take, for instance, should I want to uh, be monitoring something whilst driving down the road, which in this system is very possible, um, I would want to put on the lights that I've got in the back, which run from the auxiliary battery, so they're not taking any power from me, they're not causing me any problems. And if I've got any delicate items in the back there, I just want to make sure no glasses moving and stuff like this. I can do that while I'm driving. Just watch the monitor, I'll put the cameras, I'll put the lights on and show you.
There, you see, very clear, very clean, and driving down the road, you're watching, and you can see exactly what's going on. You don't have to reach over, because you've got the remote, um, as you're driving down the road, you can change over the channel without any problem. It's easy enough. Now, that one, side view. If you look there, I'll, if I've got the side door open, you'll be able to see what's going through there. And there you see, you could see as that door opened. Right, so basically that covers everything to do with installing a four camera system. Um, as I say, if it is a Euro 6 modern type van, um, avoid cutting into the wiring. Do like I did, it's simple and it's safer. And you've not got catalogue of problems following you later on. Always try to get the wiring as tidy and as neat as you can so that it protects it. You've got a lot of wiring to come through it. Um, but generally, it's quite an easy system to fit. Yeah, it's a little tedious because you've got to change things about. You've got to make, um, like I've had to make box brackets and move this around and get all the wiring into place. But once it's done, it's very really useful to be able to just go, and now I want to see what's inside. Or I want to see while I'm driving down the road, what's behind me yeah you've got these mirrors but that's nice to be able to look at and it's not more of a distraction than having a rear view mirror not really so generally it's well worth doing right well i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope it's been of some use to you um if you've got any questions just stick them in the bottom and i'll get back to you as soon as i can otherwise thanks for watching see you again next time bye for now